And today we're sitting in the Diversion Canal, a canal that connects the upper lake, Lake Marion, with the lower lake, Lake Moultrie. And this serves as, as basically a highway for these fish that travel between the lakes. And the former state record flathead was caught here, 74 or whatever, and then the current 79 plus pound flathead was caught here. What is it that, uh, you know, we're using here to go after these big flatheads? Well, Don, this is a seven foot Shakespeare tiger stick. Yeah. It's medium to heavy action with a tidewater reel, a uh, 30 uh, LA reel. Oh, okay. It's got the new uh, line of uh, Shakespeare Cajun line on it. I like the red. It's, uh, it's uh, very invisible under the water to oh. the fish. Yeah. I like uh, the looks of that. You know, like when you're hunting, you use green camouflage, and yeah. that's what this red is camouflage to the fish. Oh, you have no wow. idea it's even there. And we're using a 40-pound line today. Oh, okay. what we're going to be using. Yeah, with well, these kind of fish. <laughs> these rods right here have landed more big fish on this boat than any other rod that's ever been on these boats. Oh, yeah. Shakespeare makes a rod for every need you've got, whether it's big catfish, medium catfish, little catfish. And you know the rods I use are all Shakespeare, but they may be vary, but they're Shakespeare rods. And hey, Craig, you mind if I watch you tie one of these up? Man, I might pick up some hints for back home, you know? <laughs> no, Don, I don't mind showing you how we've got these rigged up at all. We've got a six-ounce egg sinker on here. Uh, for swift water in the canal right now. We have an exceptional inflow, so we're using six ounces to hold it on the bottom. And uh, as you see, it's an egg sinker that'll slide on your line. We don't want to tie a sinker to our line because a good, a big fish will use that uh, sinker weight to throw the hook out. Next, we, uh, we uh, put a bead on the line. Yeah, you can get these at any tackle shop. They're for, uh, really used for uh, sliding bobbers, but what it does, it stops your weight from coming down and getting on your knot and uh, abrasing your line there. Uh, so we put them on there and you can see it'll stop it from hitting your knot. We go to a 200 pound swivel and tie our line from the reel on to it. And we attach our leader, which we're using about 12 inches of leader. Then we'll go down here to the Daiichi bleeding circle hooks. They're red, and everybody knows red triggers fish to bite. These hooks uh, are very, very sharp hooks. Uh, when you start using them, you'll have, probably have a sore finger from poking yourself because you cannot handle these hooks hardly without them sticking you. They are so sharp, which of course is what we want. That's not a problem because the sharper the better to get into that big boy's mouth and hold on to him for us. This is a 5 aught bleeding bait series hook from uh, Daiichi. And uh, this here will do the job for us. This is what's going to bring that big one in the boat for you, Don. Craig, what are we going to be going after these big flatheads with as far as bait today? Well, Don, we're going to use a couple different things because of the two different ways we're going to be fishing. But these fish that are in the canal right now are coming out of their wintering grounds, and they want cut bait. It's easy. They don't have to chase it, and they will eat it up. Now the fish that have already moved out into the lake systems and that, they're coming off of their wintering, but they've made it to the next step, and they'll eat the live bait. So we'll actually be using both baits today. Everybody knows live perch is my number one choice of bait for flatheads. But we'll take this herring right here, and we're going to cut it up into sections. Now. For you people out there that go, well, I've never caught flatheads on cut bait, don't feel bad because when we have this cut bait out there, we also have a shot at a 30, 40 pound blue while we're out here. So you get a little bit of best of both worlds, but the flatheads will eat the cut bait. So what we do here is we just take the fillet knife and we'll cut his head off like this here. 
And then on, uh, on my neck, that's a, that there, that's a piece of bait. I like to take them and hook them right through the bottom of their mouth right there and bring it right out the top of their head. You have plenty of hooks uh, exposure that way. And he comes up and eats it. You've just got a real good chance of getting him. Now, I recommend on the herring size, about thumb width. That's, that's about the, the normal size that we use here. You, you can cut a great big piece, and sure, one may eat it, but uh, over the time, it's worked out just about thumb size here. And we'll slice it down. Just cut it up. And as long as you keep this uh, moist, uh, you can either lay a wet rag over it or put it back in the bait cooler, whatever. Now, let's say you're out there and you're not getting any bites at all. Sometimes there's a little trick to this. You turn this bait over, it's just like a steak right there. And we'll cut it again. Now we'll hook this bait right through the top of this and see if they want a smaller portion. Just the other day, we had a man catch an 85 pound blue on a piece of shrimp not that big. So don't think it's always about the size of the bait. Sometimes it's just the manner of what they're after. And you know, Craig, we've been getting a lot of fish, but I've been missing fish. The rod goes down, and I go back there to, to lift up on it. I mean, I'll set the hook, but I lift up on it. Am I doing something wrong, or? or? Not, not really. Uh, this is a different kind of fishing than most people are used to, unless you're a dedicated flathead fisherman. When that fish takes that rod, usually you'll see it jiggle a minute when he picks it up. Mm -hmm. And then he'll start doing this with it. Now when that rod does this and starts going down, when he starts making that final pull, you'll see a little hiccup in that rod. Okay. Usually he's got half that bait when he's pulling it down. Mm -hmm. Now his attention's getting more and more on that rod. Now that little hiccup, he just goes up and grabs the whole bait. Once oh. he makes that hiccup, then you want to pick up on them circle hooks and just reel him in because this went to the corner of his mouth and he's hooked up. Okay. But halfway down, he's still got half the bait. We've got him on. We're going to have to play him out here. He's pulling drag. It may be a nice blue or it may be Mr. Flathead. You really can't tell right now. But what he is, is another nice fish. Oh, yeah. He's coming up here a little bit. Okay. Uh, flathead. Nice okay, fish, Here he Craig. is right here. I mean, well, wait a minute. He's in that other line. I got to try to bring him up here, Don. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, oh nice fish. Nice Mr. Fish. Flathead. He's in the net, babe. Oh, yeah. Look at that guy. Okay. Let's turn the net sideways. Sideways. Oh. oh, he's got some weight to him, Craig. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Oh. There we go. He's got some weight to him. Oh. We don't want to hurt you, buddy. We're going to put you right back in here. This is a nice Santee Cooper flathead right here. Shakespeare makes these fishing gloves, and I uh, highly recommend if you're going fishing to get a pair of them, because you can see I've got my hand in his mouth. It's not going to tear your hand up. And you can just see, this, this is a nice fish. Nice fish. He's probably 20, 25 pounds. Not a bad fish in anybody's book. You can see his stomach on him where they've been feeding. He's, he's very healthy fish. I'd like to get him on back into the water here so he can grow up and be that big trophy for somebody someday. Okay, we're gonna let him down. You have to be careful now releasing him. But sometimes they'll bite down on you when you go let go of them, and they'll tear you up. Well, that little splash for you. Okay, he's gone. Back to grow up and fight another day. You know, the final night, Craig, I know it's going to end with a bang. You know, per perfect conditions, you know. Sun getting ready to go down. And we're here today with Kevin, and Kevin runs Black's Camp. And, and Kevin, I know in the six years you've been running Black's, you have got some awesome fish stories for us. Why don't you tell us one of them? Okay. Uh, well, I know we're fishing at night, getting ready to, uh, flathead fishing. Mm -hmm. I had a, a man, Mr. Don Garby from New Jersey, 
caught a 39 pound flathead and a 35 pound blue on a flat on a excuse me on a fly rod. Get out of here! Yeah, that was, that was pretty neat to watch. <laughs> Man, he'd get the fish up to the boat and it would just go back where it started. What would it take him a week? Took him about two hours on the flathead, <laughs> hour and a half on the blue. But uh, oh my goodness! But uh, wow. he had a, a 10 foot fly rod. Uh, tied on a drift rig like we use out here, mm -hmm. and a uh, little ultralight spinning reel, and uh, it was all he could do to get it off of the bottom. Wow, But he, man. Got, he got the flathead and the blue. I'll be there. Um, but, what uh, about you personally? I know well, you had to been out there on, on, on at least one lucky night, right? Yeah, my biggest fish was 62 pounds, and uh, man. It, it was actually in the daytime. Really? But, uh, yeah, drifting, caught it on a piece of cut herring. Little uh, one too, probably. Right? <laughs> no, it's uh, the big herring. Oh, oh like okay. We catch here locally in the springtime. Oh, okay. All Coming right. from the ocean into the lake to spawn. Okay. But, uh, but so, yeah, so you were probably drifting for blues, and then here drifting you drifting for blues, and uh, drifted over a 25 foot hill and, and caught that big flathead. Well, we know big flatheads are here, and on this same body of water, the state records have been set, haven't they? Yeah. Uh, it's kind of ironic. Uh, the same guy held the flathead state record for 10 years. Uh, and then, was it year before last? Yeah, yeah, year before last, it was broken in the Diversion Canal. Wow. Uh, 76 pounds. Man. Two weeks later, it was broken again, 79 pounds. Oh, this my This was a goodness. record that it held for 10 years. Oh, man. So, uh, <laughs> so it, it seemed like flatheads are probably on the upswing then, I guess. They are. The, the upper lake, Lake Marion, has always been known for great flathead fishing. Yeah. But this lower lake is coming on strong. We're seeing more and more big flatheads. Hey, money. All right, Don, that's where you get one on. He buried the rod, man. I'm going to pull him up. Don't know what he is yet, probably a blue, but that's OK. We'll take him. Yeah, I'll, t I'll take him, man. He was stripping some drag. We're not going to We're not gonna uh, throw away big a flathead. Big flathead. Big flathead. Yeah. Yeah. He's a nice flathead. <laughs> nice flathead. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Boy, you got a little excited there on me, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, he took so much drag, I thought it was a blue or something, man. Now, this will change that theory of yours that I yeah. heard the other night. Man. Yeah, he slammed it, didn't he? That's right. Man. You said that the other uh, day yeah. uh, on a phone to me or whatever. Yeah. Uh, wow, look at this guy. Woo! Man. Nice, nice fish. I was due for this one, Craig. Well, you lucked out to <laughs> win, change this, and you got on my spot, so. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> Look at this yeah. guy, man. Here you go. Wow. I'm going to let you do the honors here. Yes, sir. Fish, eh? Yes, sir. Man, I thought it was a blue, man. It was taking drag. Wow. Man, but, but it was that slow takedown, but then he just took drag. I'm like, gosh. Wow. Oh. Ah. Get your other hand on him. What'd you do with that? Oh, okay. Oh. There you go. Oh. That's a nice looking fish. Turn that and let me see that head on that oh. fish. Look at that. Nice boy. <laughs> this is a just before dark bite, right, you know? There you go. Another oh. daylight one. Oh. Oh, gosh, you know, I gotta say, I gotta say he's in that 25 range. Right, 25, 28 pounds. Yeah. Nice fish. Yeah, he's, he's solid, man. Nice fish anybody be proud to have. Take that drag, boy. Yeah. <laughs> it don't, it don't, you know what, it wouldn't matter what kind of fish it was when it makes that drag pull like that. Oh, yeah. It's that heart pumping. Man, I look if over. If you don't like that, you're in trouble. It was buried. Man, I look over to the right, you know, we're just sitting there saying, well, you know, it might still be a little early and blah, blah, blah. Zzz, zzz, zzz. <laughs> just took it, man. I thought it was a blue. The way that drag was just spitting off. Whew. Wait, buddy, I'm not going to chit chat and let you sit up here. Let's put you back. All right, buddy. Let's, oh. Wow. Look at the gut on this guy. Did you believe that? All right, buddy. Thank you for the fight. Woo! Okay, we got him worked over here to the side. We get a better look at him. I thought it was a blue at first. Well, it's getting dark, and uh, yeah, I'm a rookie. <laughs> there he is. Oh yeah. Oh, nice fish. Oh yeah. I see what you mean. I haven't seen one of these that isn't nice yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. See what that looks like to me? A female, because the head isn't as wide. 
or, or, or can you tell by Well, that? it just hasn't really uh, grown into uh, expectations here yet. Uh, and as, he, as they, they grow, you can see the body's already starting to widen now. I mean, that's a nice fish, but it's... Uh, yeah, it just hasn't gotten the... Yeah, the it just has Right, looking. right. He hasn't been taking steroids yet. You know what, Craig? I, I see why you use those Daiichis. These things have stuck me more times than I've been I, able to... I, I've said it, uh, I think I said it earlier, when you start using these hooks here, Carry a box of Band-Aids with you because yeah. you're going to bleed a little bit, but you're going to catch a lot of fish. I mean, these have not missed. I mean, if it's in the mouth, you know, I mean, a lot of times a fish, oh, look at the stomach. Chunky, man. Look at that stomach, yeah. bro. That fish, that fish has been eating well. Oh, my goodness. That's how they get to be that trophy size. Oh, man. Would you look at that? You know? He's a nice one. Never seen one I didn't like, man. But this one, man, look at the gut on this fish. You man. know what we could do with that? Huh. We could uh, save him and put him on my rod, and we'll use him for bait. Listen to this guy. Man. Hey, hey, this is going in, Craig. Man, you and these Daiichis cut me all up. I, gee, me? We have a little humor going on yeah, here on yeah, the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always want my flatheads. <laughs> in we go, girl. Could be the net man, Craig. Go ahead. You want, you want, you want me to get it? Oh, yeah. 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 Nice fish. I feel Flathead. better if Craig is nice the fish. net man. We took that thing down slow and steady, didn't we? Oh, yeah. yeah. Slow and steady. There he is. Oh, good fish. Yeah. Kevin, All look at right. that. Look at That's an Arnold Schwarzenegger looking one. Yeah. <laughs> Man, look I'll at the, put on my look at the shoulders on that guy. Shakespeare glove here. My goodness. Where's my, uh, look at the build on sir, this guy. Nice is, fish. Is that fish feeding Kevin or what? Look at that. I'd say he is. My Boy, goodness. That's a pretty fish, you know, it's real light color. Wow. Boy, I've never seen one that jam-packed. Look at that. Way out, big humps full of <laughs> yes. bait in there. Look at that muscle. No wonder they pull it down slow, Craig. They're so full. That's so nice. <laughs> My goodness. The build on you that You know, it's bit. funny. You catch one that's almost yellow, and the next one you catch is Dark almost or... black. Yeah. Especially in the spring. My corner of the mouth. Right. Good to release him. I'll be darned. What some sharp hooks, man. Yes, Be careful. Sir. Ah. That bleeding bait's got more than one meaning. <laughs> Be careful, man. <laughs> yeah, we we've already found that out. <laughs> there okay. we go. There we go. Okay. I got it. Just have a little bit of a sore mouth. Poor snagger looking fish there. Woo! All right. Wow. Look at the Let gut on that fish, Craig. My goodness. That's a pretty fish. Wow. Too. Man. <laughs> that is a pretty fish. Woo. Wow. What's he weigh, Craig? 100, oh. 200? <laughs> <laughs> In a few more years. He's 15, 18 pounds. Yeah, I, I was going to say 17, 18 pounds. Yeah. With I don't know. Fish. He, he, he is. Pretty he's pretty he might, He might get close to 20. Yeah. yeah. He's Look solid. How thick he is across the back here. Yeah. I rarely see him with this big. I mean, they're jam-packed shoulders, man, like them bodybuilder-looking types. <laughs> man, that, I mean, that's a fish there, boy. Yeah, that's a nice one. Let's let him get bigger. Yeah, yeah. Let's ease that one on in over here, where my pole is. <laughs> <laughs> here he goes. I'm gonna get that one. All right. See you Look later. Look at that. Look at that splash yeah, on the way out. out. They always put that little tail splash on yeah, there. Yeah, just put them back in. Like, take, take some of this, buddy. Yeah, you must have, what is that, a two pound shell cracker there? <laughs> this is a good eating size brim. Yeah. Shell cracker. We're going we're gonna to try him for a, a flat head. But what we're going to do is just cut off part of his fins. His tail there? Yeah, that'll keep him from swimming in the other lines, and he'll send out a kind of a wounded fish signal, you know? Wow. Uh, yeah, he, he shouldn't be able to swim real strong like you this. You catch one on him, it ought to be a big one. I'll hold him if you're hooking, Craig. Craig, you put baits like that out, haven't you? Yes, sir. Well, Craig uses right here in this, this a lot. Right here in this spot. Let's see. You want it right about here, Ken? Hey. A lot of hooks showing. You know where to put it. Boy, he's got some tough scales, doesn't he? Big bait, big fish, I guess, huh? Yep. Yeah. Big old Daiichi bleeding bait hook. I think you're in the fin, Chris. Yeah. 
trying back here. Maybe. Now the flathead that takes this one, he's gonna be a good one. Won't go there. Try it right here. Try it here. Well, that's the one drawback of using these giant baits, though, huh? Oh, this, yeah, you gotta work a little bit to get him hooked up. All right. Wait a minute, I'll clean the hook point okay, off. Okay, yeah. So we clean the hook point off? Yeah, oh, because yeah. if not, that hook won't penetrate. Yeah, makes, wow, makes that is a big bait. Time. All right. We're gonna oh, yeah, nice guy. one. Now this guy, oh, look at him. Hit that big bait. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Would you look at this guy? I'll hold this up. I'm going to show you the bait that's still hanging look out. Look at that. My, this is that giant bait, and his tail's wiggling. <laughs> Craig, do that expert netmanship. Look at the, the giant shell cracker. We might it's be able to moving. use that bait again. What do you think? <laughs> it's still moving. Oh, he's heavier, isn't he? Yeah. That, that ain't a bad nice. fish, baby. Man. Feel, look at that fish, Craig. Well, he looks bigger up here, don't he? <laughs> Down there, he doesn't seem quite as big. Man, that's a good fish. Yeah, it is. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tail still hanging out of his mouth. And would you look at the doggone bait? Keeping him from coming look out. Look at that. Look at that. My. Look at the size of the that The size bait. of that bait. That's a fillet size shell cracker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so much so, now you see his gills moving. He was like totally wedged inside his mouth. I don't know how he's ever going to swallow that, Kevin. Gee, I'm gonna man, put the bait in the yeah. tank. Maybe he'll revive. I doubt it. I, yeah. think, I think he got <laughs> crushed up. Bro. Yeah. 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 Let me go with this. Let me try to lift this guy here and just get that. He's got that good stomach on. Oh yeah, man, he's stocky. That's a heavy. Yeah, he's in that thirty-ish. Oh yeah. Thirty-ish. Look at that tail. Look at him showing that tail. Off. Yeah. <laughs> This one's got kind of like a yellow color, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. That's why I say. See that color? Yeah, that's one. That, that yellowish tint and then the red, you know, kind of reddish fins. And we already know he's greedy. You know, <laughs> definitely greedy, you know. I'll be there. Beautiful fish, though. He's going to become fish. one of them big boys. In oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eating two and three pound baits? My goodness. You know, I mean, the greed factor, come on. It couldn't even fit in his mouth. Gee, but we got you with that what? Bleeding bait, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, just like all of them, back in. Back in. Oh. We got that He's bait going. on. Whoa. He's going. He's going. Go ahead, Don. He's going. You Finally, my side. Of, yeah, he's all there. All right. I don't think he's your bruiser guy, but he's there. Hey, he's a fish, right? Yeah, I'll take him, man. Yeah, I'll take him. You got to keep eye on the rod. You turned it. We just put that bait on those other rods and turned around, and I was closing the lick. There he is. Another flathead. flathead. Hello, man. Another flathead. That's seven, eight, whatever. Man. Okay, where's he at, buddy? He's not a bad fish. No. Shoot. I know people that love to have a fish that size. Oh yeah. Never caught a fish that size in their life, right oh, there. Oh yeah. That's a pretty fish. Look at that fish. Young fish, nice fish. A little okay. bit more yellowish, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he, he's uh, just came from some shallower water, probably wintering. Okay. And uh, you'll see that in the spring, a lot of mixtures of colors, Don. Kind of yellowish. Yeah, they'll, they'll, you'll get a lot of mixtures on flatheads in the spring. Some will be dark green. Some will even be spotted brown. Uh, matter of fact, some of them even look ugly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they, they, they look like they're throwing a three or four buckets of paint. Oh, he's not. That's not oh, yeah, baby. He's, he's a good chunk. Oh. He's a good chunk. Look at that gut on that boy. That. How, can you, now, yeah. here, folks. How can you get mad about coming and catching a fish like that? Listen to that. Yeah. You know, uh, just a little bit. Because he's trying to catch up with me. Yeah. And hey, man, after that one fish, it's going to be tough to do, man. <laughs> yeah. But nice fit, pretty fish. Well, you just gotta remember where you're at, and that may not be so tough to catch up. You know, earlier we were talking to you about averages. Are we having a good outing? <laughs> we are having an awesome outing. You have to answer that look with a grin on your face. <laughs> Hello, man. Hey, I'm gonna put it back, because man, I love these fish, and I'll tell you what. That's right, that, catch that fish release. there needs to grow up. Yeah, I mean, I just love, I just love the fact, when you let them go. I got it. He is in the net. OK, let's lift him on up. I'm going to help you. I'm going to try to keep the sinker out of the net. All righty. Oh, he's not exactly a baby. I got another one going, Don. I ain't got time to mess with you. That one's going down, too. 
That just went down a minute ago. What? Why on his side of the boat? <laughs> Gee, man, he? Yeah, he's going straight down. Look at that rod. Look at that. Oh, he's got another one. Ah, okay, Come on. we got another one on, folks. How about my side of the boat? This is flathead fishing. With Captain Craig. Man, I better get him out of the net if I'm going to net this one. Don, get that one out of the net. Yep, I'm going to get this one out of the net so I can help net this other one. Don. Gee. Yep. Okay. This a good one? Well, he's, he's, he's a little bigger than that one, I'd say. All righty. Oh, I got it out of the net. Okay, then I'm going to start bringing him up. And I might be fooled. I thought he was big. Well, he's pulling, but yeah, he's bigger than this one. <sighs> Man, look at look at these Shakespeare rods do the job. Man, man. look at that. Well, you see why I love them, man. Look at that. 55 foot of water with medium to heavy Shakespeare rods and reels, and they just bow them down and pull them up out of that depth. <sighs> well, he's digging, isn't he? Man. Oh yeah. He's. Uh, I don't think he's as big as I think he. Oh, that's, oh. <laughs> that's the drag line, folks. I don't think he's as, you know. Oh, big fish. Big fish, Craig. Yeah. Big fish. Oh, yeah, nice fish, Craig. Oh, yeah. Another bruiser. Are you convinced yet? Oh, Craig, I'm going to need help. Hey. Oh, shoot. Man. Oh, this is what we're looking this for. This is the kind of fish. Oh. I'm going to let you lift this up for okay. everybody. Let me have him here. There you go. Woo. Wow. Look at the <laughs> Look at I've this got a guy. fishing line, it looks like. Something's holding him here. Don't the net. OK, here, here we go, folks, right here. Man. Woo. Gee, This is name. Santee Cooper flathead fishing. <laughs> Man, that is a whopper. That is a whopper, man. Turn around, let me see the gut on this fish. Let me see that big white belly. Gee, my knee. The width on this guy. Big, big fish. This fish, this fish is heavy. Yeah, yeah, he looks like he's probably in that, I don't know, 40. He's, he's 40 pounds. Yeah, yeah, he There's looks no like There's no doubt he's, about this being a 40 pound flathead, folks. Oh, yeah. I don't know how well you can see it, but I know how I feel holding it. <laughs> <laughs> You've held enough of them to know. Yeah, and uh, this is a real nice fish. Look at the length on this fish. Wow. Man, he's down here. Right. He's on the floor. I wear 34 pants, so, and I'm holding it above my waist. So he's probably about 36, 37 inches. 37, 38, yeah. But look at the width on him. Yeah, look, look at, that. at that. Here's my hand on each side of him. Big, big this fish. This is what it's all about right here, folks. There's your trophy. I mean, sure, there's yeah. bigger. Yeah. This is a trophy fish. Oh, right absolutely. This absolutely. Is a fish. An inhale to what, a 12 inch bait? Right. <laughs> I like it's going out of style. Look man. at that head. Man, the width on that head. Here's my hat. I've done this before, and there's probably, I don't know, four or five inches on each side. Nice Let fish. Me, uh, try to get him around here. Don, come. Can you help hold his mouth open a little bit there? Maybe oh, hold right. his mouth open? Yeah, I was going to show these people. Here, that'll put your hand under his stomach. Okay. Uh, I got his. Okay. I got his gut there. Gee, my knee. I can't hardly reach around his tail. This is. Wow. This is a fish right here. Yeah. Look at this. Man. No problem putting my hand down his throat. Wow. I don't want to hurt him, of course, so I'm not I'm going to lose him. Okay, I'm wow. going to no. Big, big let's get, fish. Let's, let's get the big boy back in the water. Yeah, absolutely. Craig, catch and release on these big old guys. I'm going to tell you what, all the research That's we've right. seen. We release these fish, folks. So that, that tail. They'll, they'll be here when you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's take him over here and uh, ease him in, man. He's we got to be careful, like we said earlier, because they will hang on to your hand, so you don't want to just drop them. That's either six or seven flatheads. Well, we're definitely over that average. <laughs> Craig, you the man. You the man. I tell you. Slime to slime. Slime to yeah, slime, yeah. man. Yeah. Great job. That's the title tonight, man. So <laughs> hey, you got it tonight. Told you I was gonna get it. I know, I know. But I tell you, next trip, next trip, I'm, I'm gonna get the revenge next trip. <laughs> Craig, as usual, outstanding job, you know. I, I don't know how many flatheads. I lost count. How many do you think we got over the, the last two days? Oh, uh, 15, 17. 17. I, 
I think he's conservative, but hey, I'll, I'll go with a 17, you know. And the big fish of all goes to the man. He, he, he's the man. But, you know, I got some nice ones. And I know all you guys remember those 30s and almost a 40 I got, you know, and you got the... You, you were close. This guy's greedy, though. You know, he, he, he's always... In. Kevin, great fish tonight and unusual. Unusual to see that, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I tell you what, I enjoyed seeing that, that flathead. What was he, about a 25? Yeah. 35? Take that big shell cracker. You know, that was a pound and a half rim, just barely fit in his mouth. That I've never seen else. that. <laughs> is, is that something you guys see all the time? Yeah, um... Well, Craig, yeah, the, the, even the smaller fish, they'll hit a big bait right. like that. That big? I mean, oh, yeah. yeah got yeah. stuck in his mind. I mean, I don't even know when he hit a hook. They're greedy. <laughs> you know? Amazing stuff. But again, both of you guys, hey, Kevin, great seeing you. Hey. We'll see you again here later on. Thank Kevin, you for bringing hey. me with you guys.